Welcome to Recap Our Studio. Hello and welcome to Recap Our Studio. Today we'll explore Immortal, a 2020 English language Norwegian fantasy thriller film. The film opens with Eric, an American Norwegian who has no direction in life and is roaming through the Norwegian forests with his injured leg. After a lengthy trek, he decides to pitch a tent in the midst of the jungle and spend the night there. Eric gets emotionally unstable while sleeping that night, and the trees outside the tent begin to fire. Every tree surrounding him has been burned down in the morning, but Eric and his tent are untouched. However, when the burn damage on his leg worsens, he chooses to go to a neighboring town. When he arrives, he walks inside a clinic and grabs many items to help treat his injuries. While tending to his injuries, he notices that he looks terrible. He cuts his hair and changes into a lot more attractive man. On his journey to nowhere, three troublemakers in their father's Mercedes see him and approach him, but Eric ignores them, and one of them becomes enraged and begins tormenting the homeless guy. Eric tells him that if he touches him again, he would be burnt, but the adolescent disregards the warning and grabs his jacket. He falls and dies instantaneously without being touched by Eric. Eric flees and is apprehended by the local police for murder. The following day, as Eric awaits extradition to the United States, local police chief Henrik sends in a psychologist named Christine in the hopes that she will make Eric speak. Henrik informs her that the guy is also a suspect in a three-year-old fire at a farm that killed five people. Eric, who is seated in the corner of the questioning room, first refuses to speak to her. Christine persuades him to sit at the table, where she calms him down by reminding him that it was not his fault and that awful things happen. She advises that Henrik, who is observing from the other room, have his shackles freed in order to earn Eric's confidence. A few seconds later, all of his parents arrive at the police station, and his father, Bjorn, demands on seeing the killer, but Henrik refuses. After that, Eric eventually confesses to killing the farm workers who turned out to be his family. As they converse, he uses his talent to extract water from a glass. Christine is perplexed and requests an explanation. Eric, on the other hand, has no idea how that occurs. Furthermore, he manages to burn the table with his hand, and Eric suddenly becomes agitated and begins burning the whole interrogation chamber. Christine comes to the conclusion that his emotions determine his strength. Despite this, she approaches Eric and rapidly advises him on how to concentrate in order to harness his strength. He gradually gains control of his emotions and brings the turmoil to a halt. Hathaway comes shortly after the U.S. Embassy official to bring Eric back to America. He refuses to speak to anybody besides Christine. She advises them that flying Eric in a helicopter is extremely unsafe. They are adamant, and Eric is the data to keep him unconscious for the voyage. Eric abruptly wakes in the midst of the trip and begins to fear due to being tethered. He cannot be given another dosage because he will overdose. Eric produces a rainstorm, causing the helicopter to lose power and fall into the water. He then finds he can breathe underwater and uses his strength to burn the strap. He manages to rescue Hathaway and flees as soon as she wakes. The search and rescue crew starts their search through the debris and finds three dead corpses. Christine, on the other hand, hears about the helicopter accident and goes to the site. Eric appears unexpectedly in front of a psychologist's home, and she decides to take him to a friend's cabin in the middle of the forest. He admits that he draws power from the farm and says that the farm fire was caused by bursting into flames. Hathaway gives Henrik evidence of Eric's power to manipulate the weather that caused the helicopter accident at the hospital. As a result, she informs the police that he must be found as quickly as possible. Christine gets a phone call the following day from a friend informing her that she is concealing a criminal and advising her to turn Eric into the police. She explains the proposal to Eric and apologizes once he awakens. Christine unexpectedly embraces the superhuman before they leave, realizing she has love for him. She changes her mind and resolves to return Eric to the farm to discover the source of the power. Christine chooses to toss her phone into the sea since her buddy and Henry keep phoning her. Christine hears at the gas station that the authorities are searching for Eric since he has been named as a suspect in the helicopter disaster. While driving, Eric reveals that he occasionally feels as if he is in another universe, where he sees a massive tree that dominates the whole horizon. Christina then tries to overtake the large vehicle in front of her. As a result, their automobile almost collides with a car traveling in the other way. This causes Eric to worry and admits a thunderbolt that kills their vehicle but has no effect on Christine. After colliding, the truck driver offers to give them a ride not long after the police arrive at the collision site, where Hathaway informs Eric that he is not permitted to approach and cross a bridge that would carry them to the other city. They ultimately arrive to the bridge specified by the U.S. agent earlier. 
The police, on the other hand, have thrown up a roadblock. The driver suddenly understands Eric is the guy the police had been hunting for and comes to a complete halt. They are then left with no choice but to surrender. Eric gets out of the vehicle and surrenders as two police officers aim their guns at him. Christina approaches them and requests that they drop their guns, but they instead capture her. Eric begs them to let go of his beloved, but they refuse, prompting Eric to anger and lose control. A thunderstorm happens when black clouds quickly blanket the sky. While Eric is screaming in pain, thunderbolts begin to hit. Christina approaches him as usual and encourages him to manage his emotions. The police officers continue to approach them, and Eric uses his ability to erect a lightning fence around himself until he falls and the storm passes. Henrik arrives to assist and rushes both of them to the hospital. Eric and the bridge event have gone viral, and the locals are beginning to think he is a deity. Some even think he is Thor. When he arrives, the wounds on his body are worsening, and he is immediately taken to the MRI scanner. Christine uses headphones to keep him quiet. However, when the scanning process starts, Eric inadvertently destroys the machine with his power, causing a power outage at the hospital. To make matters worse, a nurse enters, claiming that a youngster has gone into cardiac arrest and requires immediate care. Eric runs to the ICU when Bjorn, his father, unexpectedly appears and shoots him. Fortunately, Henrik is able to calm him down and ultimately allows Eric to travel to the ICU. Eric uses his magic to resuscitate the youngster, and he awakens from his coma, causing his parents to cry tears of joy. Eric has gained popularity since then, and many people request him to hold their hand. Henrik then delivers Christine a Norse mythology book as they continue their trek to the property. He says that when Thor and the other gods perished in Ragnarok, Thor's descendants created a farm, which they think is where Eric obtained his ability. Henrik and the psychologist examine the location upon arrival, while Eric is told to wait at the door. He pursues them until they reach a ruin, where Eric collapses to his knees and is unable to continue. Henrik is certain that something is buried under there and quickly instructs his guys to begin digging. On the other side, Hathaway and the US Army come and quietly observe what they are doing while waiting for the ideal moment to assassinate Eric. The gang soon discovers a tunnel under the property where much old treasure has been buried. They even find a representation of Indraseel, the trees Eric mentioned to Christine before. After the team inspects the location, Eric is informed it is time for him to enter the cave, where he stumbles upon a chest. With the assistance of one of the team members, he unlocks the box and reveals Thor's glove, belt, and hammer Mjolnir. Eric then snatches them and all of Thor's stuff before a thunderbolt falls from the sky. This time, though, it does not hurt his body since the hammer absorbs all of the energy. Christine rushes over to him as he emerges from the cave. Meanwhile, Hathaway directs her sniper to murder Eric, but the bullet misses and instead kills Christine, killing her immediately. Eric furiously attempts to resuscitate her, but he is unable. Eric gets outraged and unleashes a tremendous thunderstorm, viciously hitting anyone around the property. At the conclusion of the film, a reporter reports that the thunderstorm at the farm killed a huge number of people and that Eric unexpectedly vanished. Subscribe to see more videos like this, enable alerts, and leave a like to support the channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch.